Hi, this is an expository text and we're going to be comparing some texts. We're going to read about one animal that lives in extreme cold and one that lives in extreme heat. Cold dog, hot fox. There is a very cold place in Asia. It is called Siberia. The climate there is harsh. In winter, the temperature is far below freezing. The wind is strong. Few animals can live there because of the weather conditions. Siberian Husky. The Siberian Husky is a kind of dog. It has body parts that help it adapt to very cold places. When the wind and snow blow, the dog squints its eyes. Even with its eyes almost closed, it can still see. A husky's fur has two parts. The bottom part is very short hair. The top part is long hair. The longer hair keeps water off the dog's body. It works like a warm raincoat. The short hair is close to the dog body keeps it insulated like a warm fuzzy blanket. We can also see how this Siberian Husky might be using its tail to keep its face warm as it's curled up here. The dog's tail is bushy. A Husky can wrap its tail around its face when it goes to sleep. Its tail keeps its face warm. And you can see it can bend really tightly together to keep all of its parts tucked in and cozy. If you look at the bottom of a husky's paws, you see thick black pads and fur. The paws help the dog stay warm. You can imagine if you're walking in snow that you're going to want to have some adaptation that helps to keep your feet warm. The Siberian Husky looks like other dogs, but it has special features that help it live in cold places. We call some of these special features adaptations. Here's a diagram for the parts of a Husky. Eyes have a special shape. This um, shape will help the Husky to be able to squint its eyes and still see like they talked about in the snow. Ears have fur. That's going to keep the ears warm. Fur is thick, it says here. And we talked about the two different kinds of fur. Tail is furry, and that is a nice bushy tail. Paws have fur. The paws have fur to help protect it. So this is a dog that has adaptations to live in a very cold environment in Siberia. Let's find out about another animal that lives in a completely different climate. The Siberian Husky's climate is the Arctic region. Let's talk about an animal that lives in the desert region next. Life in the heat. The Sahara Desert is in Africa. Summers there are very hot and dry. Few animals can live there. You might have heard of this desert. It is at the top part of Africa. It takes up almost that whole part. And people call it Sahara or Sahara. And it's one of those deserts that many parts of it have a lot of sand with giant sand dunes and just a little vegetation. That means plants. Finnick fox. A finnick fox has body parts that help it live in the hot, dry desert. A finnick fox is nocturnal. It sleeps during the day. It eats at night. Well, that makes sense. The day is going to be much warmer than the nighttime. So sleeping during the hot part of the day means you don't have to be out running around trying to hunt something down when it's the hottest time. Now, as soon as you look at this picture, you're thinking, wow, look at those ears. Like many desert animals, like the um, jackrabbit, the finnick fox has an adaptation for its ears to help it live in its hot, 
hot desert climate. The fox has big ears. They help extra heat leave the fox's body. The fox's ears also have hairs that trap sand. The sand does not blow in the fox's ears. The fox has thick fur. The fur is the color of sand. The fox also has a furry tail. It wraps its tail around its body to protect itself from the heat. So the fox uses its tail to keep the heat out, just like the husky used its tail to keep the heat in. The fox being a light color helps it camouflage with the sand, which is helpful if you're a hunter. But the lighter color also keeps it cooler. I like the adaptations of the hair and the ears keeping the sand out. If you had ears that size, you would not want them full of sand. The fox's feet have hair on the bottom. The hair protects the fox's feet from the hot sand. The fox also uses its feet as a tool. It digs holes in the ground and stays in the hole during the day. The fox comes out at night when it is cooler. If you've ever walked outside with bare feet on a very hot day, you know that your feet can burn if they step on something very hot. Well, the, art, the finnick fox has lots of fur. Look at that, so furry you can hardly see the little foot pads because it needs to be away from that burning hot sand. So furry feet, big ears to help it cool down and keep the sand out with the little hairs. These are all adaptations. All these features help the finnick fox live in the desert. Parts of a fox. Ears help the fox lose body heat. Fur is thick. Tail is furry. And that thick fur actually protects the skin and the body of the fox from the heat. Paws have fur to protect them from the heat and their shape help the fox dig. You can see a bit in this picture that their feet are really kind of large compared to the size of their body. That's going to help them walk on top of sand, but it's also going to help them dig because just like you'd use a shovel to dig, you would not want to really want to use a toothpick to dig. You want to have something bigger. Let's look at the mate connections. How do these animals survive in very cold and hot places? That is our essential question. Thinking about what adaptations the Siberian Husky and the Finnick Fox have to help them live in their environment or in their climate. Think about the animals you have read about this week. How do their bodies help them survive? This is not the only animals that we may read about this week that live in very arid or hot deserts or cool and um, closer to the Arctic regions. When you think about the title of this selection, Cold Dog, Hot Fox, it is in really inviting you to compare and contrast these two animals. They're telling you the temperature and the type of animal for each of them. And you can see cold and hot are direct opposites. Well, of course, fox and dogs don't have an opposite, but we're comparing and contrasting things that are similar and different between the Siberian Husky and the Finnick Fox. Pretty cool. Or oh, hot stuff.